Uh, my name is Lynn, and I am making this video for BJD Addicts on YouTube. Um, this is my first webcam video ever. I don't normally do webcam videos, uh, mostly because my previous uh, laptop had a terrible webcam, and this one has a better one, so I can finally do this. I've been watching BJD Addicts for a while now, but never been able to do this, so it's a little late. But this is prop number one. So hello, my name is Lynn. Um, I've been a BJD owner since 2006. Um, and us, okay, most of my dolls, I have five dolls currently. Um, there they are. Like, I know there's six there. That's actually my, in addition to my mom's doll. Um, all of them are Dream of Doll because I'm a little bit addicted to their, them. I do have plans for other dolls, but Dream of Doll keeps getting in the way. I do. <laughs> so, anyway, my first doll, doll number one, the one that started it all, is Dietrich. He is a DOD, DOC U. He was actually the full set, but the only thing he really wears from the full set are the pants. <laughs> uh, he's changed a lot since the first days I got him, mainly after I got this wig for him. He became a total diva. Fortunately, this wig is old. I got him back in 2000. I actually ordered him in 2005, but he arrived in 2006, you know, the holiday season. Um, he took, I think, two months, maybe a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure because I didn't actually do the actual ordering my dad ordered him and his sister. Um, it was kind of a Christmas present to me and my mom. And so I'm not actually sure exactly how long he took since I'm not sure Dave, my dad, actually ordered him on. And I was in college when he arrived, so I just took a few days before I could actually open him. But he's my little ice prince. And he is totally... Uh, on the same time, my mom also ordered a doll. Yeah, my mom is into dolls too. And so this is... Ugh, too many hands. is Layla. She is a DOC Leia. You know, Leia, Leia, Layla. But I really like the name Layla. My mom actually never named her. I had to name her for her. I don't think my mom knows that. That's her name. Um, she's, like I said, my mom's doll, but I tend to play with her more, so I figured I would introduce her in this video, too. She's, unfortunately, a little loose, so I really need to get her restrung. She hasn't been strung since the day we got her. And I was going to restring her, but the strings got misplaced. But she is Dietrich's little sister. I think they're two years apart in the story. I know I can't even remember that much. Um, some people said I should have made them twins. <laughs> but I don't know. I think they, she kind of looks a little bit younger. And her wig's just not cooperating today. Uh, the outfit's a Dream of Doll outfit. Um, it's actually part of the maid outfit. One of the few dresses she has. My mom keeps getting skirts and tops and not much dresses, unfortunately. She needs more dresses and her head's a little floppy. She's one of the older, she's on the old, old girl body. So she's not as flexible as the rest of my dolls. But she's so adorable. I love her. Alright, so for the longest time I was determined I was only going to have one doll. I was only going to have Dietrich. He was going to be the one and only doll for me. Well, as maybe two dollars know, it never lasts long. And I decided he had to have a boyfriend. So a year later... Lucien happened. Lucien is a Kirill. He's just a regular Kirill. He's not the elf Kirill. Fortunately, I want the elf Kirill, but I missed my chance. Um, he is a little demon boy, and uh, the only modification he has is I actually painted his nails black. I don't know if you can see very well. And the uh, kimono was made by your Riku Tarachi, I think was her name. She used to do. Uh, Kimono commissions on Den of Angels, but I don't think she does anymore. But really liked her stuff. It was a little J Rock kimono. She had really good prices too. Um, he's, of course, he didn't quite, I can't really say he's technically Dietrich's boyfriend in the end. He ended up kind of becoming, I don't know, they have a very complex relationship. He's after Dietrich's soul and they kind of got involved from that. <laughs> I have a very interesting doll story, yes. Um, so for the longest time I had, um, when I saw the Carol, the elves from Dream of Doll, I was totally in love with them. And I fell in love with the elf Dukin. Um, unfortunately I didn't have a chance to get him when he came out, and I saw I'd never have him because we got really, really expensive. But, uh, after I got Carol, uh, I mean, after I got Lucy and I started really obsessing over the idea of having an elf Dukin, I, um, lost several auctions, but eventually I won one. So this is my dream doll, Elf Dream of Doll DOT Elf Dukin. This is Lucifer. He's kind of huge. 
Um, he has a gorgeous, gorgeous face. Unfortunately, you can't really see him here. I'm, and I'm not in a chair. I'm just in my bed, so it's a little hard to angle them. Like I said, I'm not used to having my laptop here. Uh, I don't want to talk about his price because it's a little ridiculous, and that's just since I've seen him for, go for lower these days. It's, I have him as a full set. I just don't have his outfit on right now. I like This is kind of the outfit he's come to wear. But yes, his name is Lucifer, which I know is really um, cliche. But ever since I saw him, I just knew he was going to be that. And people who know me I have, know I have a little bit of a fallen angel obsession. And uh, Lucian is actually basically his son. He created Lucian. A very complex story. So, of course, after I had Lucifer, to started my archangel sitting in the storyline. And, oh, and I got, um, Lucifer is my only pre-owned doll. I got him in 2007. Actually, only a few months after Lucian. But then, eventually, I ended up getting Michael, as in the Archangel Michael. And he is Lucifer's twin brother. Um, he is a tender elf Shaw head, event head from 2000. I think it was 2008, but he didn't arrive in 2009, so I think it was a 2009 doll. Um, I ri originally the character was meant to be a Shaw, but then the tender elf Shaw came, and I just I was too perfect. Uh, it, he looks so, it does really work well with the elf duke, and so I had to get him. I actually ordered a whole lot of clothes just to get this head. <laughs> um, and then the face up is done was done by originally done by Crimson, and then unfortunately she didn't give him very good eye his eyebrows are really hard. They're still a little hard to stand here, but you can see that. Well, uh, and then I, I asked my friend recently to touch it up so you can actually see his eyes. She's darkened it a little bit. Um, the outfit is a Heisen Janelle outfit, um, which is also, Lucifer is also wearing a Heisen Janelle outfit. If you haven't noticed, I'm a little obsessed with her work. I love her outfits. It just takes a really long time to get on, unfortunately. Um, originally, I was trying to be cheap with him, and I got him on a um, Demon Garden body, but the body was just way too bulky and didn't work, so I ended up having to save up my money for a Dream of Doll body, so he didn't get his body until almost a year later after I had his head. Oh, and my cat is here, Crystal. Mm. <laughs> and then, of course, with the uh, um, that year, they had another event head. And so, with when I got Michael's body, I got another head. <laughs> and I was like, well, I have other characters I need. I need a Raphael. So he became a Raphael. Um, unfortunately, his wig does cover a lot of his face. This is my face that was done by my friend Marissa. I think her name is Yanagi on Den of Angels. She's going to hopefully start a commission for it up soon for face ups. She does great work. Um, and I love his little glasses. This is, of course, another Heisen Janau outfit. This one I actually got when it first came out pre order when it was like $60, which is a great deal for this outfit. This outfit is beautiful. And <laughs> my cat has decided she's joining us. Yeah, this is Crystal. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Crystal. Okay, I know. I am playing with resin and ignoring you. Yeah, this is Raphael. I actually didn't know if the mold was going to work for him or not. I just figured, hey, free head! You know, it might work. If not, I could always sell it. But I was really happy of how well it worked. So yeah, this is Raphael. He's kind of the semi-villain of the story. He's in control of heaven right now. But he's not really. I, mean, I can't say much because people who do read my... The few who actually do follow my story... I don't want to spoil them. Um, but yeah, I have another doll on order right now. It's going to be Gabriel to finish the uh, Archangel collection. Well, I mean, not, I still have Uriel left to do, too. Um, but my uh, it's the, Gabriel's going to be another Dream of Doll. Um, it's going to be DOC. And then I have <laughs> Uriel's going to be a Let's Doll. And then um, next one after is Lilith, who's going to be another Deep Dream of Doll. I don't think I'm going to go away. I'm running out of time, but let's say Hi, guys, Crystal. Say goodbye, Crystal. Uh, bye.